Okay, this is a tutorial how to install software in your virtual machine in the lab. So, uh, we have a we have a Bitnami Linux Apache PHP Postgres Bitnami Debian image here which has started and then you have to use configure your network as NAT NAT network address translation for development in my experiments I use host only adapter so that my host machine can ping the guest machine host only adapter but if you need to connect your guest virtual machine to the internet it cannot you cannot use host only adapter you use NAT network address translation your virt your your virtual machine will pretend to be your host machine when connecting to the internet so if i press NAT and then I try to reboot my virtual machine. I can restart the network, but I am lazy. I just reboot the virtual machine. And let's try. and IP address show so uy hindi ata nagbago ah bakit? hindi nagbago network not naman oh I mean adapter 2 it's not supposed to be adapter 2, sorry. Adapter 1 should be not. Adapter 2 is not enabled. Okay, let me reboot again. It should be adapter 1 that is not. That is network address translation. Yan. So now if I ping the one, if you see the IP address is 10.0.2.15. So it's different from a while ago the IP address was uh, 192.168.56.101. So now I can try to ping the gateway. This lab's IP addresses are in 192.168.15. So uh, the gateway is 15.0. I think or 15 that check run. So the gateway of this computer is 15 that one. So now I can ping 15 that one from the guest OS. So, pwede na ako mag-internet. Kaya lang, even my, com my host computer cannot ping Google. Because we cannot ping the outside world from our lab. Maybe in your internet at home, you can do that. But here in this lab, you cannot ping. That means everything has to go through the, uh, ano, through the proxy. So, in Linux, there's a way to update. You have to export HTTP proxy yeah. because the port of our proxy is 3128. If you type, if you see here in the Windows 
proxy setting, the proxy is 192.168.15.1, port 3128. So I set this in Linux, and I also set it in HTTP proxy. That's an environment variable. And I can type up update, and it's updating, CCC. I can download. So I can just up install Joe. Joe is my favorite text editor. And it said it's already installed. So I can update, I can get software from the internet. For example, I want to up install wget. <coughs> wget is already installed daw. Ano pa bang usually install ko? So this is how you get internet from your uh, from your virtual machine. But you cannot ping you cannot ping the ano. You cannot ping this one at the same time. I don't know why. I don't know how to configure it but as of now so that we don't have time to spend time. So, if you, if you need to install something in your virtual machine from the internet, this is how you do it. After you're done, you can just switch it back to host-only adapter, this one, network. No, no, no. Adapter 1, host-only adapter. Okay. Let's see if nagbago. Now, you have to reboot. So I changed bit network 1 to host only adapter. And let's see if we can access. Okay, it's on again. Let's see if this will load. Uy, wala. Bakit walang connection? Host only adapter. IP address show 192.168.56.101 Let's ping 192.168.56.101 We have connection. And let's try to load this one. Load na ba ito? Oh yeah, it's working. So what I showed you is how to install additional software. But because we cannot install additional software easily, how to configure the network to use the proxy and how to put it back to development mode. Okay, just in case you need to install software. I installed Joe Text Editor because uh, I memorized all the commands for Joe edi e Text Editor. That's why I was able to type very fast and edit very fast last time. Okay, that's all for this recording.